right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a strike who's a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. Oh! of your seat action as expected so far. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumper. DC didn't take him long to find his range. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Burns. Pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Burns. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax him. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damage. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh! Well, he's got one hand in, one hand out. Now you're looking for defensively. And this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Gets up again here, but hurting. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. Not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Burns gets back up, no surprise there. That was a nice strike. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. And both guys really throwing with authority. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Burn strike attempt there is blocked. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Big ball. He's hurt bad. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. being applied here. Oh, nice.
nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind those guys can't keep up with. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Big punch lands over the top. I was just following. He blocks the punch. He's gonna try to take him down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, that'll work. The grounded pound strike is good. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Submission. How about that? He's like, you go here, my <laughs> arm's free, and now he's got plenty of room to operate here out of side control. Nicely Great done. Job. Oh, nice elbow. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Got every choke in the book, trying to set one up here. He's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. by Burns. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he is really... So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. decision is in. We said it. 